Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS, our little series about uh, us, all of us figuring out and demystifying the complicated world of electrical and boats. So I've got a question from Tony. Uh, Tony's got a older Hunter 36 um, and he's been watching our videos. Thank you, Tony. And he's got a question. He says, uh, following your advice, I decided to install four golf cart batteries and separate my engine battery from my other batteries. Smart move, and that makes sense. You know, especially on a sailboat, you should have a house battery bank and an engine battery bank, and you want those two battery banks to be completely separate. So the question that was asked by Tony is, says, is it better to charge the batteries in series or parallel? And I thought that's a really good question because actually, the question itself shows how hard it is for us to figure out all of this out. So when you're gonna put four golf cart batteries, you're actually gonna have each battery six volts. And to get to a 12 volt battery bank, you're gonna put two of those golf cart batteries in series, and then another two of those batteries in series, and then each of those pairs are gonna be wired in parallel. So you're actually gonna have batteries that are wired in series, another pair that's wired in series, and then both of those two battery banks that are two batteries each are gonna be wired in parallel to make a battery bank that is 12 volts made of four golf cart batteries. When it's time to charge, you're actually gonna have probably a, I don't know, maybe for that boat it could be a 40 amp or 60 amp battery charger with two outputs. One output is gonna be going to the house and the secondary output is going to the engine battery. Or you could have an inverter charger that's connected to the house battery bank, right? It could be a thousand watt inverter, 2000 watt inverter with a charger and that charger is effectively connected as well to your house battery bank. And then what you would do is you would have probably a battery combiner to share that charge with the engine battery. But it's not so much how you're gonna charge it via series or parallel. You're actually gonna have probably either multiple output battery charger or an inverter charger with a battery combiner. And that's how you would handle charging a battery bank of four golf cart batteries at 12 volts and an engine battery at 12 volts. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got further questions that we didn't answer, please ask them below or go on our website and fill out one of the forms and we'll get a chance to do so. Support us to keep this channel ad-free by donating via PayPal or buying one of these lovely hats. The links are below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. That way you'll get the regular content. And in closing, thanks for watching.